age, played a lot of time of his career in Germany and of course trouble. Um, I see them going through um, whoever they play against in the next round. Well that man Lionel Messi is not in the team today. If you're just joining us, their manager Lionel Scaloni made nine changes. Front definitely with, with Di Maria and I think that's what we see in the, in the next round. Well, as they walk out, I want to remind you guys that you can watch this match in English and in Spanish commentary on selected devices. You've just got to hit the little gear, the little settings icon, and you can switch it over. Now, I don't want to be biased for watching it in Spanish commentary. It gives you a whole nother experience. A man that will be busy today, Thomas Sorensen, Pedro Gallese, of course, the goalkeeper for Peru, plays his club football in Orlando. Comes in to replace him as the captains meet at midfield. Paulo Guerrero for Peru and Angel Di Maria for Argentina. So neither team with their... A hot and humid summer night in South Florida against a team in Argentina that they have not beaten in almost a quarter of a century here in the U.S. Physical play by Brian Reyna. He puts a shoulder into Herman and the Qatari national team. And he's had stops in countries around have the result here tonight, knowing they are already safely into the quarterfinal round. So you might surveys his options. Quarterfinal round. Peru at the bottom of the group without a win and without a single goal so far here in the tournament. And now and healthy Maria on the free kick serves it in and that's going to be a corner kick as the keeper Pedro Gallet line drive in and headed over the bar Di Maria on the receiving end he's pointing towards the corner possession back to Argentina now Martinez and trying to avoid the pressure and it's good towards the back post and the last 12 international matches altogether. Here's Garnacho a shot and he couldn't curl it around. It is deflected, however, and it'll be a corner kick. And this one also makes it through untouched. Just like another one a few moments ago, Otamendi had an opportunity there and it was it's Garnacho trying to hold it up. The final four back in 2021. Here's Los Celso. And it's Lopez on the service. And the first goal in their FA Cup win over Man City. Martinez on sides. And the flag does now go up. So he's 1v1. Alejandro Garnacho now against two defenders. And now one of the big hopes for Manchester United to turn their fortunes around under the new ownership beginning next season just outside the box and what a save by Piraeus and then it's tapped out for a goal kick Paredes and now the back heel by Lo Celso but Paredes got clipped here it's lobbed in Gaiesi here in the tournament and Renato Tapia, who has left the team because of it. Goes down the line, but Otamendi is there. Guerrero, and he gets it back, though. Now out wide for Tagliafico, but he can't hold it in. Maria clipped and that's going to be the second yellow of this first half on Peru line drive it's the next tiebreaker is total goal score Emilia and the pass under hit for Martinez he tries to recover now Garnacho on it and that is going to Peru though winless in the last five in this tournament Rare opportunity for Argentina to play on the counterattack. Trying to get across away. Oh, he does well. Tried to center. Now Lopez. Only been the obvious.
Tapias. Dominance on offense. Lock things down on the back line. Pass too far for Paulo. Has the overlapping run. One timer comes in. Oh, what a terrific save by Gaiesi. And then on the rebound, Garnacho curls it up and over the bar. Pedro Gaiesi has made two sensational saves here in this first half. And that one with Giovanni at Lo Celso in a out wide for Lopez. Headed through, and Garnacha Argentina in their final group stage game here at the turn. <laughs> Peru needs some magic. And that might be offsides. Martinez is in. He chips it in. And let's see. Lotaro Martinez has given Argentina the 1-0 lead. Flag stayed down. And Martinez now with a goal in each of his last six games for Argentina. And we'll get another look here. Flag never came up. As the ball is played there, boy, it looks close. Maybe right even with that last defender, Lopez. Just struggling to keep possession. And we'll get Pretty good ball by Pena. Now, this is Edison Flores. And then he runs into Palacios. And it looks like Flores is going to get a yellow card. Yep. With an extra man the rest of the way up in that match as well. And now here is... On the in-swinger. Comes in low this time. Back post. And it's 2-0. Nicholas Taliafico. Martinez trying to cut it back here. It's tangled up in the box. Now Pena up the wing. Comes all the way. Maria. So we're just shy of his 22nd birthday in Qatar. Now here's a long range effort, and Martinez couldn't handle it. First significant shot he's had to deal with all night long, and it's going to be the first corner kick. And this will be another corner, this time from the opposite side, and. You may get a yellow card here. Leandro Paredes is going to be issued a card here. He just pushed Di Maria and held Di Maria for Montiel. It's blocked and out for a corner kick. They wanted the penalty, and it looks like it's going to be a penalty kick. Handball. So Argentina is going to get a break here because they were a little slow in developing. Leandro Paredes. And he hits the post. Then on the rebound, Martinez is shot. That's blocked. Leandro Paredes a chance to put this game away, but now Las Vegas after looking very pedestrian recently. And now it's going to be 2-0 Argentina. And that is going to be the goal that seals the game, the group, and who else but Latoro Martinez. His brace on the night is going to be the punctuation mark here in Group A for Argentina. Seven goals now in his last six games. A ver, si le afecte una sala a usted, se vuelve a ser si loca, ¿eh? no, que tienen que perder una sala a mí, entonces, con el no rey. Como le pasó a muchos, estamos cagando. Siempre ahora sí si que preferencias. Lo supiten. Es, 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 es